took the Sterling camp. Just what are some of your first impressions of the probe and the environment that Coach Tomlin creates here? Yeah, I think it's pretty special. Um, you know, Coach Tomlin, uh, we're like one of only six or seven teams that still go off site. And, you know, everybody's doing the same thing right now. So coming to La Trobe, being together, spending three weeks actually together. I mean, a lot of people are doing the same thing. It's just how can you get a better edge? How can you get your team the closest? Because at the end of the day, the, the best teams are the closest team. So. Uh, the first one out here yesterday, that means something. Did you want to be the first one on the field? Uh, I mean, it wasn't in my head. Like, I don't want to, you know, come out here and, hey, I'm the first guy here. You know, I have a routine that I do every single day, and my, my warm-up takes about 20, 25 minutes, and I'm not going to cut that. So whatever time I need to be out here to do that, I mean, I'm not really the one that's like, Hey guys, I'm first, you know, it's just, I have a routine that I live by and I'm going to do it whatever time I need to be here, I'm going to be here. How did you develop that? Is that something you did for injury prevention on the line or where did you pick that up? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's just from a trainer back home, uh, just a long warm up to warm up ankles, knees, shoulders. I mean, just all mobility, just, you know, so I don't go into practice and just, you know, be cold, everything's warmed up, make sure I'm ready to go. You look like you've been moving quickly and making your reads and decisions fast out here. How much do you feel like you've come to understand the offense, the defense already, and what they've been tasking you with your rookie year? Yeah, I mean, uh, from now, since OTAs, it's a world of difference. I mean, I think in OTAs and minicamp, I wasn't able to be myself because I wasn't playing freely because I didn't know the defense how I wanted to. And, I mean, even yesterday and especially today, just how fast and freely I was able to move. You know, credit Coach AC, credit PQ, credit E-Rob, those guys for just leaning on me and, you know, the whole month we had off checking in, making sure I'm studying film, making sure if I need any questions that they got me. So. I was going to ask you about like, the influence of Patrick Queen and Landon Roberts and those guys are yeah. having on you. Yeah. Because you've been having some reps where you're you know, standing there right next to Patrick. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. To, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a little cheesy to say, but, you know, playing against, playing right beside two of the best linebackers in the game, Patrick Queen probably being one of the best, if not the best, and then E-Rob being up there, being in the league for 10 years, just the knowledge and the – you know, just the natural instincts that those guys have and just the little information that they're able to give me. I just, I'm like a sponge just soaking it up. Do you have an expectation of how much work you would get maybe with the ones or twos? And is it about what you thought it would be or maybe a little more? Uh, I mean, I'm not really one to put expectations on myself, you know. Um, I have higher expectations for myself than anyone. And whatever role the Pittsburgh Steelers want to hand me, I'm going to hit it at 110% and try to help this team win the Super Bowl, whether that's special teams, whether that's starting, whether that's anything else. I'm I'm willing to take a role and do the best I possibly can. We've seen you in a lot of Thank you for checking out this content from Post Gazette Sports. If you watch this video on YouTube, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. For all of the sports coverage the Post Gazette has to offer, visit post-gazette.com.